bankers and politicians aren't being fined, unlike, but that is the worst thing. And then you don't pay that, and what happens? They have to bring you back, and they might have changed the law at that stage to take it out of your social welfare or your wages over a long period in time. Uh, the issue of jail wouldn't really arise, maybe for breaches. I spent a bit of time there myself <laughs> as part of another campaign for a month, and that can be dealt with as well. But I've been at meetings where a lot of people have said they'd happily go to jail to make a stand over this as well. So I think they, they were very important points to be made. The other thing is we're not telling anybody what to do. We, people are telling us that they want to make a stand on this and we feel it's our duty to stand by those people and to outline correctly, in my opinion, that the only way of defeating this is if we do that, if we don't register and we, we uh, don't pay and stand together. But the choice is made by every individual for themselves, you know. Yeah. This lady asked about if you go to court, will you have legal representation? And yes, it is our intention to have legal representation in all of the cases. Um, we've done that before in anti-water charges and anti-bin tax cases. Um, we have sent the legislation for a legal opinion already. If there's any scope where we can take a, an offensive legal action to stop them before they come for us, we'll do that if there is anything there. Um, we will, but yes, no, the campaign will go into the courts with people. That's provided people let us know they're in court, like, you know what I mean? You can't just, if somebody doesn't tell us, we're not going to know unless people make contact with us. But people who make contact with us, the intention of the campaign is part of the money goes to a legal defence fund uh, in order that people's cases can be, can be dealt with in that regard, you know. Hi everybody, uh, Terry Lawton is my name, I'm from a, a group called uh, Infowars Wexford, we're on Facebook, uh, we've been on the streets of Wexford for five weeks, um, just spreading the word of truth to the people, the, the truth, the news that uh, you don't hear in the media, and uh, we need to understand that we're victims of uh, organised economic warfare here folks, it's happened in countless nations throughout history, every third world nation has been the same, uh, victimised by the same bankers, the same banking elite families, um, they play us off against the government, but the government is not the real enemy. It's, it's, it's the guys that are controlling the puppets. It's a Punch and Judy show. We've been looking all our lives. We're looking at the puppets. We need to look at the controllers, the guys pulling the strings. So all, all of this austerity, austerity is just a euphemism. It's a metaphor for, for tyranny. It's a new word for tyranny. We need to understand that we have to stop paying into this system completely. Peaceful non-compliance. We can't, we, can't we can't pay any taxes. Hang on, no. We, we can't pay any more taxes, lads. No taxes. No, nothing. Peaceful non-compliance because like any problem, this is a symptom. Pay, not paying taxes is only a symptom. We have to stop treating symptoms. We've got to get to the root of the problem. If you've got a, a bleed coming out of your ear, no, no, put a plug on your ear. you got to get to the problem inside. Otherwise, the problem is going to be always okay. okay. So no. Thanks. No, no, look. Uh, no, if you've material to give out, you can. But I think a lot of people would, you know, they're already paying a lot of taxes. And, you know, it's not really... Yeah, you can, you can give that out at the end, yeah. Okay, yeah. Just, is, is the attendance sheet going around? Have the people at the back got the attendance sheet and stuff? So, to make sure we have people's details, yeah. Are there any other questions people have? I don't Just saying there. Yes. The, hello? Sorry. That man back there was saying about how that uh, Jim Thane are also opposing the, um, the charges. But at least you're doing what the people wanted. People voted Mick Wallace in here to go and, and represent us, and he's down here now representing us, where Brendan Howell and the rest of them should be as well. He knows down well that we are opposed. We cannot pay anymore. So fair play to Mick Wallace for taking his finger out and coming down here and doing what he was paid, what he, we asked him to do. He's standing by what he said. So it's no point to saying Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, Labour. It doesn't matter who they are. Ye are the people that we voted in, not p political parties. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we all need to stand up. Unity in numbers. And if we don't, we're finished.
Yeah. Give, give the mic more. Right. What happens if you don't register for the the safety plan thing? Have they the right to come in on your property? That, that legislation hasn't been passed yet. That's that's going through the doll at the moment. Um, I would imagine that, yes, the answer they probably have, but then you could take other legal action against them as well, you know? Yeah, well, exactly. That, that would make it difficult, you know? Yeah. That, that hasn't gone through. I think they'll find it difficult to go around to all of the houses, and I think, you know, pe people will stand their ground and have in other issues, but that will need to be tested a bit, you know? Yeah, just on the separate, separate thank issue, though, uh, already, though, the government are getting a little bit nervous about the way they were trying to approach it. And now we have Hogan backtracking and saying, well, we're only going to test so many. I mean, they either want to clean up the water or they don't. And uh, uh, it's a very mealy matters approach they seem to be taking now. And a lot of the time, they were, they didn't really, I think it's pretty obvious at this stage that they didn't know what they were talking about when they started out. And they were gradually learning. So... Uh, a lot of things could change between you now and the, uh, by the time the bill is passed. Would all the new building, all the new housing estates be in Dublin? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
water supply. I mean, there, there will be ways, but I mean, these are read by smart meters and that going by frequency signals and everything can interfere with them. We don't know the details of what way they're going to implement this yet. There's going to be a report out in about two months, but once they do, that will be part of this campaign in terms of giving people information on that one, because very much so, water charges are on the way and are very much part of this battle too, which is why it's important people don't register because they're looking for information about your water supply and that too. Just to maybe the lads asked me to, to mention again like that, if people have signed the attendance sheet, it's very, very important that we have your details when we're, when we're um, leaving. It's very important as well that people take the material and put it up, a car sticker, a window poster for your house. Again, those things give confidence. And crucially, the membership of the campaign, which allows us to produce the material, to get the legal opinions, and to organise this campaign, to have the hotline, the phone number, in the way in which we need to. That we do ask people to fill out the membership cards as well. Uh, the, that's the five euro payment. That's what it goes for, for material, for legal opinion, and uh, for the hotline number and so on. Nobody who works for this campaign, gets paid or anything. It's all done by volunteers, putting in their own money, but we need that money to launch an effective battle on it as well, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like a lot of the money, it's not that this money is for local material in the area and that as well. It's local people who benefit from it, like the, a lot of the material was produced centrally, yet, yeah, but it's, it's used locally and for the organisation of your own meetings and so on too. sell your house in say five years time would you be then be liable yes. to pay that charge how long will that last on your home yeah. it's, uh, that's, if, if you don't pay well, we, well the non-registration thing wouldn't apply then because they, if they we presume they wouldn't have taken an action on you this charge is in for one year maybe two okay this is a, it's an unusual situation because it's leading to a much bigger one so the 100 euro charge is in for this year. If you haven't paid that, then it's 142 by the end of that year. That remains on the property. I think it's for 12 years as specified in the legislation. And when you sell your house then, if your solicitor is worth their salt, that money will probably be taken from you then at that stage. However, if you pay it now, well then it's going to rise in between and we're all going to be paying 1,000, 1,200 euros or whatever. We won't defeat it. In the overall scale of house prices, even with them falling, it's relatively small amount. Nothing is moving now anyway. Nobody's selling anything now. But yes, it, it would come off your property uh, for about 12 years after that, you know. So, sorry, just um, I got a, uh, this gentleman here, Pat Daly. Uh, he just he just made a suggestion that uh, that people should actually consider boycotting uh, some politicians who refuse to support the campaign against the house all charge. Now, I mean, that's not for me. That's not for me to tell you to do. But I mean, obviously, uh, it, it wouldn't be any harm for you to actually approach the people. Uh, who will represent you and uh, and see if they are still representing your interests or, or whether they only do it every five years. Uh, that'd be worth checking. Excuse me, if there, if there are people who want to pay the five euro membership and they're not here tonight, how do they... How do they go about registering them for the five, five yeah. euro? There's no we can either You can either take some with you. If people want to take some memberships for their neighbours, friends, workmates, that's no problem. We'll just take a record of your name and the numbers of tickets that you have that have been issued to you. And then you can get them back to one of the local uh, people here. Dermot has been... Do you want to stand up? No? Dermot Lacey has been doing a lot of the, the work around here or any of the... The lo you know what I mean, somebody local will take them back for you, we'll have your details anyway we can remind you, so there's no problem with t people taking 5 or 6, 10 membership cards if you like um, and, and get, get them in that way that's no problem you know Is there any other part, I'm conscious that there's a lot of people standing outside, the temperature is quite hot now so yes, yeah, sorry Thanks, I, I'd just like to say um, I think 
for now we should all, all throw our political banners away and get behind these people. They're the ones who came down here to stand up for us. Get behind these people and get them to lead us. Throw away whatever political banners we have for the time being. This is not an election. This is a protest. These are the people that are leading us. Number two, I think we should all go out of here and either ring up or contact ten people and tell them not to register. Simple thing to do, but it gets a lot of people behind us. The, the politicians tell us that we're all suffering together. You go down to Kelly's Hotel next summer and see how much they're suffering. They're not suffering. I brought my kids down last summer because I couldn't afford to bring them on holidays. I brought them for a meal to Kelly's. It was packed, packed to the doors. We're the ones that are suffering. We're the ones that are paying. And they're persecuting us because we're not together. We're all divided through politics. But tonight here we should decide. We're going to get together. We're going to get behind these people. We're going to stop this thing. Put our own badges aside and get behind it. Thanks a lot. It would be hard for anybody to top that. So is there any other last questions or points that people want to make? In general, how many people in the country is back in the system? Would you give me a figure on it? Well, at the moment, there's 97.5% of people who haven't registered. Now, I'm not saying they're all with us, but... Two and a half million people, maybe two million. No, it would be naive of us to put a figure on it. Uh, first of all, we would be... Uh, dishonest to do so because we don't know the figures and uh, secondly we would be stupid to do so uh, we don't know when push comes to shove we just don't know how many people will have the courage and it's difficult and I'm not saying it's easy people will be taken on responsibility by standing up for themselves and you generally do to stand up for yourself it's easier to stay at home and pull the sheet over your head it takes less courage but to stand up for yourself and make a point and say, this is not fair and you're not doing it to me, takes courage. And just how many can do it when push comes to shove remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, the more people that does it, the more difficult it's going to be for the government. Now, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so ridiculous as to throw around crazy figures on it, but uh, I think... Uh, at, at the moment, I mean, there seems to be such a groundswell of anger among the people about how this country is being organised and how their lives are being affected by it. I really think that things, in all my life, I haven't seen the Irish actually stand up. I, you see it in Europe, when the Europeans are treated poorly, they go to the streets and they... They make a fuss and uh, they say, we're not having this. But we haven't had a history of it here. Well, this is a start. And uh, the way this campaign is building momentum is, de is definitely promising. Okay, is that, can we leave it at that then? Again, just to thank people for coming out to reiterate what was said there. Tell 10 people, maybe make the 11th phone call to one of your local politicians and give them grief for the ones, the government ones who voted this in. Uh, we'd encourage people to join the campaign, take the material and put it up and spread the word and we'll see you at the next meeting. Ennis, go on Monday night in Astro Active Community Workshop at half past seven. Ladies and gentlemen, there just before you all leave, I'd like to, to put a big, big round of applause there for Claire Dale. He came all the way from London to address this group. And also Rick Wallace. And I'd like to thank Andy Lyle there for supplying the premises for this meeting. Thank you very much.